Hey there! My name's Jenny. I'm a writer and blogger over at willshutthefrontdoor.blogspot.com and I've been doing this weekly link up called The Nail Files for almost two years now and actually recently, about five weeks ago, uh, the original hosts, Tara and Vicky, asked me to take over for them and I was super psyched too because over the past two years I've turned into quite the nail enthusiast and basically <laughs> I am now ridiculously obsessed with nails. When I first hooked up with The Nail Files, I was doing standard base coat, two coats of color, top coat, good to go. And then sort of as the weeks went on, I was able to see, ooh, nature, it's very windy out here. <laughs> anyway, I was able to see a lot of really cool designs, things I never even thought about doing. And then of course, this coincided with Pinterest and the rest as they say is history. Um, I've become obsessed with Pinterest as most people have. And to see some of the designs that people do there is just mind blowing. And so I figured, you know, slowly but surely, I would start venturing into maybe doing things that were a little bit, you know, more adventurous that sometimes things look super easy or the pinner says oh you know seven easy steps for this amazing beach sand whale manicure and then you know four hours later I'm you know two glasses of wine deep because I can't even function with how hard it is but I'm so determined that I've invested so much time that I need to keep going. One of my most favorite pins um, involved a gradient and at the time I didn't even know what it was to be honest Thought it was called ombre. I've now realized that those are not the same things. <laughs> anyway, um, sometimes nail people can be a little bit snarky. I love most of them. Sometimes when you ask a question, you get back this sort of. Anyway, I'm not here to hate. What I am here to do is hopefully show how just sort of regular old gals um, who have you know a little bit of time <laughs> that they can carve out in the day can do something really awesome. Um, So what I'm going to show you today um, are four different uh, types of gradients. So I'm going to do a two color gradient, three color gradient, and four color gradient. So you can really see the difference because they really do have a different look. Um, and again, this is the kind of thing that the more you play with, you'll figure out what style you like most. I really like multiple um, colors because I find you get a really good fade. But sometimes if you want to do two contrasting colors, it makes sense to do a two color gradient. So let's start with a two color gradient. So I'm going to use the finger paints white obviously which is my base with the skinny dip orally over top so we can see a nice contrast what I'm going to do also is I'm actually going to start uh, my timer so that we can know how long it actually takes to do so it will be uh, the time on this plus a standard manicure so you can start with your standard mani and let's just say you get a chip a few days later or you end up having some extra time a few days later you know you can uh, you can do this gradient okay so you're gonna take your sponge um, I like using this bottom part of the sponge, I'll, I'll tell you, it does end up coming through and you will get some polish on uh, your skin, but I find that I have more control over the bottom, but you could also, you know, use at the top. There are some techniques that say that you should put dots, you know, of polish on a piece of paper and then pick them up with the sponge. I find that that really doesn't help you uh, with polish uh, distribution. I find that like the sponge absorbs it right away. Um, and that's not great. So I find it's better to just paint it right on. So you saw there I did two coats to start of the uh, white finger paint. And that'll be at the tip because obviously I'm going to be doing it this way. You can reverse it too if, uh, if you want to do that. But here, so I'm going to do two coats of the skinny dip. And it's wider than my nail. I mean, I get it. But again, I like to have full coverage and I have a <laughs> sort of freakishly large nail bed. So here we go. Okay, so then you're going to figure out where you want the color to start, so you can sort of line it up on the side, and then you literally just roll it on the first time. Doesn't look so hot, I get it. So then what you're gonna do is match up the color again, and just sort of blend it. Blend it back and forth. Until you sort of get to a part where you're like, okay, that looks good. 
Keep in mind too that a gradient is something that requires multiple coats, so uh, don't think that you have to get it right on the first try because <laughs> that is not realistic. Okay, so we have this first one which is gonna dry because you do want to have them dry in between each coat. So let's do our two colors. So let's do two coats of the white. And then maybe something that fades into that blue. So let's do two yacht to handle. Obviously that's going above and I just make them as wide as the brush goes. You can decide what you wanna do. Then let's put skinny dip on top. You know how long your nails are, so you're gonna be able to judge how thick each of these need to be. Same thing, you sort of line it up, roll it on first and then dab. And you, what you also want to do is you want to move it slightly up and down as you're doing it because then you're going to get a much more blended line in the middle. All right, so there we go. So as you can see, we have um, the two color gradient and then this is our three color gradient. So we'll leave that sponge. One more. So this time, let's add in a highlight of the summer and I think that I will do that. Um, below, so this is our four colors, so again we're doing two coats of white, then I'm going to do two coats of highlight, because I'm doing more colors, I'm going to have to overlap, c'est la vie, you just get it, so just make sure, you know, keep eyeball it that you're having the same thickness of each color, because that will help, and then we'll do skinny dip at the top. All right, same, exact same thing. Roll on and dab. Move it up and down a little bit. I don't ever go right to the bottom because I like for there to actually, if you actually to see the base color. But you can go down as far as you want. Okay, so there's the first coat of two colors, three colors, four colors. And now for our last one, you guessed it, five different coats, so two of white, we'll do them in the same order, so then we'll have two of highlight of my summer, and what was next, okay, <laughs> two yacht to handle, and then, oops, skinny dip, it's nice to keep them in order too so that you remember. So I'm not gonna lie, there are times that I do not and then it just does not work out. Okay, and then right at the top. This one, it has a little bit of sparkle because it just, hello, who am I? Okay, same thing. There we go, and we'll just have it fade. So like I sort of messed it up a little bit by not having much white. Hello, that looks sad. Okay, so now we have all of our first coats, so we're gonna let that uh, dry. I don't know, here's the thing. <laughs> you really, uh, if you're in a super uh, tight jam for time, you can throw some top coat on it, but as we know, Sishfeed has the tendency to shrink everything, so you'll end up losing a little bit of space at the tip of the nail, but I mean, you can cheat a little bit and fall them down afterwards, which I'm sure nail technicians <laughs> are freaking out about right now. Um, so let's just pretend that that's not something that I do regularly. Okay, so now we're set for second coat. What's super fun about gradients also, I I'm introing that every time. <laughs> What's fun about them is they don't take long to, the coats do not take long to dry because they have such little polish. Okay, so now we're doing second coat of our two color. So there we go, there's first coat. And then this time I'm only gonna dab. Rolling gets you a bit more color so as you can see here, I wasn't quite, so you just want to really fade it in the middle, which you can by just gently moving it up and down. So here we go, second coat of two. Oh dear, the wind is, let me tell you guys, the perils of doing nails outside is that the wind blows stuff everywhere sometimes. Oh, okay. Second coat, I've just realized that I put it on the same side. You probably don't want to do that because it'll be like a little bit crusty from <laughs> the polish drying. Um, but there we go. Okay, I won't do two coats there. It's a pretty thing. Dab it on. 
again, you're gonna get messy doing this. I like see stuff about putting um, like a glue or something around your skin, and I don't really know about that. So I feel like if you're picking it off anyway, anyway. So there is the three color, three color gradient. So now we have all the colors for our fourth gradient. Dab, dab, dab. Make sure you really go from one side to the other side also, because if not, you're gonna have like a weird space of just your base coat at the uh, bottom. There we go. swiftly and efficiently onto, whoops, onto number five. Ooh, that is a killer red chipmunk. <laughs> that is, my dogs are obsessed with chasing. Okay, so there we go. Let's do five. All the way to the bottom. Moving up and down so everything is blended. Ooh, too much. Back up, back up. See, that's what's really nice. It's such a forgiving manicure, I swear. So there we go. Two coats of each. This is pretty much dry. We're gonna do a third coat. Again, you're probably thinking, third coat? Holy heck, are you kidding me? That's gonna take me forever. But I'll have you know, we're at 10 minutes right now, which is including drawing time. So it's really not uh, as bad, I think, uh, as people maybe make it out to be. It's just a matter of, do you have the patience to sit there and do a few coats? I think that everyone can do it if they really want to. So now it's a matter of letting this dry um, properly. Uh, maybe wait a minute and then we're going to throw on some top coat and uh, be good. So uh, while this is drying actually, I'm going to do my um, other hand. So now both of my uh, hands have their two coats of base co coat and then three coats of gradient. Again, you can do three coats and it dries fairly quickly because it's not like doing a full coat of nail. Now I'm applying a top coat. There's some people who like to clean up their skin before doing a top coat. I do not like to do that <laughs> because I find that I always smudge them. So I need to do, uh, I do a top coat before I start doing anything else so that it's really dry. What's nice about when you do the top coat too is sometimes if you press a little too hard on the sponge, it will uh, create sort of dimpled uh, deal on your nails. And the top coat, a nice uh, coat of it, really disguises that and just fills it in. All right, so now the top coat is totally dry. I've gone inside and I've just uh, soaked my hands in some warm soapy water for a little bit and then scraped off uh, most of the polish. You can see that there are still some issues at the bottom with my cuticle, like I said that there would be. The manicure perfect. You don't have to do this technically, um, but I'm a bit of a control freak. And uh, I like my nails to be sort of as perfect as possible. So uh, what you can do here, is uh, this is a pretty cool little nail polish dispenser. I got it at Sally. I think it cost about $5. This is the um, brush that I had from Michaels. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna see that there's still uh, a little bit of nail polish that's on your cuticle. What you'll do is you'll just take this uh, brush that's soaked in uh, acetone and just run it underneath your nail to get that really smooth, swooped uh, look at the bottom. That will be perfect. Um, I realize that this is sort of what the pros do and I understand that it is definitely an extra step and if you're already, uh, <laughs> this wind is crazy, if you're already pressed for time, this is probably not something you're going to do, but if you uh, are slightly obsessive like I am or you know you really want to make sure that it's perfect, I don't know, like if for some reason your hands would be photographed or something then this is what you're going to want to do to make them uh, to make them really perfect so there you have it the gradient manicure broken down into I hope enough steps that it seems uh, just as easy as it is because I swear um, it really won't take long once you get a hang of it. Um, if you look at our stopwatch we are at 38 minutes 57 seconds um, 
And so again, that time is what was required on top of already having uh, two coats of base color dry. But uh, I think that you could easily take 10 minutes off of that, um, even including the drying time, uh, because you're gonna have a better idea of what you're gonna be doing. Um, and it's not gonna be like you're trying to do uh, four different nails. You'll be able to, to keep reusing uh, the same sponge a, a few times until it gets really saturated. Um, and that really would cut back on your time. But uh, so really, even worst case scenario, 35 minutes on top of a basic mani, you could pump this baby out from start to finish probably in less than an hour. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool for that. So I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that I've inspired you to try something that maybe you thought was a little bit harder. Um, because really, uh, at the end of the day, some things are crazy on Pinterest. I don't think that the gradient's one of them. So if you like nails as much as I love nails, come hook up with the other nail filers and me on Fridays on my blog at well, shutthefrontdoor.blogspot.com. I can't wait to see you there. Bye.